So today we're going to be taking a look at what countries would get involved in World War III. Now you guys seem to have an obsession with the world breaking out into a third world war and everyone dying. So, you know, I guess it's time to make another World War III video. But aside from that, we're going to be taking a look at multiple scenarios where we see how a world war could begin and what countries would get involved in response to said world war. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We just hit 65,000 subscribers and we are aiming for 70,000 subscribers. After that, 80k to 90k and then we'll be at the big 100,000 subscribers, which is now our official goal for the end of the year. That's right, I'm finally putting my foot down and saying that 100,000 subscribers is our next big goal. So if you want to help us get there, make sure to like, subscribe, share the video, turn on notifications, leave a comment, all that good fun stuff. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this scenario. Now, in my opinion, there's about three different ways a world war could break out in the modern day. One in Ukraine, one in Taiwan, and one in the Middle East. First off, we'll be taking a look at the scenario in Ukraine. So as of right now, on August 8th, this is just about what the Ukraine war looks like. Um, Russia doesn't have any troops up here, but the Donbass region is completely annexed, as well as southern Ukraine. Russia is still holding on to Kyrgyzstan, although Ukraine has been pushing towards it, but that's not the main point of this video. We're going to be seeing how this could escalate into a world war. Now, of course, the main way that this could happen is that if Russia does anything against NATO, more particularly, if Russia somehow manages to push Ukraine all the way back over to the border with Poland, we could see some event happening here, which would trigger NATO and ultimately start another world war. Like I said, there's multiple ways for this to happen, so just the border or Poland it may not be the only way. It could be something to do with Kaliningrad, it could be just something to do with the Baltic Sea, something to do with Finland and Sweden joining NATO, or anything of that sort. But in a Russian provoked European war, we're going to be seeing what countries will join. And first off, clearly NATO. All right, so here we have all of NATO in the war with Russia, and immediately Russia would get Belarus to join in on their side. And to be completely honest with you, this is probably as far as it would go. Some other countries that could possibly join in, not 100%, this I am 100% sure about, but other countries that could join in if they wanted to would include countries such as Georgia. They would join in on NATO side and would most likely be being invaded by Russia, which would force them into NATO side. We could see something in the Balkans here with Serbia, although I highly doubt it because that would be a suicidal move, but Serbia could potentially join in on Russia's side should it get that bad. Or if maybe Russia manages to push through all of Ukraine into Romania and border Serbia, then they would probably want to join the war since, you know, they're kind of guaranteed defense. But if Serbia joins, that automatically brings brings Kosovo in, and Bosnia would most likely take this time to erupt into a civil war. So the Republic of Srpska would most likely try to break away from the Bosnia and Herzegovina, which, you know, uh, Bosnia would be NATO-backed, and then Serbia would back the Republic of Srpska. Ireland, Switzerland, Austria, and Moldova would most likely not join in on this war, although Moldova could if Russia were to push through it. I don't see that likely, as I don't see Russia being able to push through Ukraine. But from here, like I said, I don't think any more countries would get involved unless it went to, like, full-on global war or maybe if it's stalemated for long enough we could possibly see iran join in on this war which would lead israel to join in on the side of nato saudi arabia and then syria it would all erupt into a massive war in the middle east which would have ripple effects across the entire world leading to other countries joining in china could also join in on this war or they would most likely just take this time to invade taiwan which would get them involved but that's a whole other scenario so we're not going to be including that simply because like i said it's a whole other scenario and at the end of this video we'll be taking a look at a scenario where all of these three scenarios combined into one which will be like a global like almost every country involved or every major country involved but yeah this does it for scenario one which is russia versus ukraine let's take a look at scenario two all right scenario two here is a chinese invasion of taiwan now as of recently there's been some very high tensions between china and taiwan and the united states that's simply because of speaker pelosi's visit to the island however that's nothing to do with this video uh, if china were to declare war on taiwan this would have a very negative effect on china and the United States and the entire world, mostly because Taiwan is protected by the United States. So this would automatically get the US involved in this war, but not only the US as Japan would also get involved as well as South Korea, the Philippines, New Zealand, and Australia. Now this is probably the broadest scope of things that would happen. Um, if South Korea were to get involved, I also believe that North Korea would invade South Korea and fire a bunch of nukes because that's what North Korea likes to do. This is probably the main extent to which this war could break out to. Countries like Canada and the United Kingdom is maybe france could join in as well but i don't see europe as a major player in this war and i don't see any of these countries wanting to join but moving up a scale on tensions we have some other countries joining such as india now india and china hold very hostile relations in real life when you ask india like who is their greatest enemy they're gonna say pakistan 
But after that, they'll most likely say China. And speaking of Pakistan, if this were to all to play out and uh, India ended up declaring war on China, then Pakistan would most certainly come to the aid of China, which is their greatest ally. So yeah, this is the realistic scope of this event. I'm kind of pushing it with India joining in because I'm sure India would want to pursue neutrality over China since it would just really hurt their economy. But taking it past the more realistic scope, we're going to go ahead and head down to Southeast Asia, where we could possibly see Vietnam join in on the side of Taiwan. Now, this is like very much pushing it. Um, Vietnam and the United States are allies in real life. Vietnam dislikes China. So, you know, pushing past the whole Vietnam War thing, which if you didn't know, U.S. and Vietnamese relations have greatly improved since the Vietnam War. Um, so much so that they're considered allies now. I see a lot of comments saying that like, hey, Vietnam and America fought the Vietnam War and, you know, that would kind of make it hostile. But, you know, the countries have resolved their tensions and issues. The United Kingdom and France fought each other for hundreds of years and now they're allies, so anything's really possible. But if Vietnam were to join, I don't think any of these other Southeast Asian countries would get involved, but if they were forced to, Thailand would join in on the side of Taiwan, and then Cambodia, Lao, and Myanmar on the side of China. Now, like I said, this is very much pushing it. We can also see Malaysia getting involved as well as Indonesia, but this is mostly a war just to end China's reign over the South China Sea. I don't really see this escalating into a more like european kind of war although fully pushing away from reality we could see russia join in which would activate the european front and that would be touched up on in the final scenario which is the combination scenario but moving on from this scenario let's go ahead and take a look at the final scenario which is the middle eastern scenario as of recently tensions in this area have been rising what a surprise we have the whole israel palestine conflict when you look at israel palestine it's a lot of the same thing happening over and over again both sides lying about something and then israel claiming to do something in protection of their country Palestine it's just it's a lot but that recently happened like two days ago Turkey and Iraq that's something that's been ongoing Turkey and Syria also have been ongoing uh, Iran and Saudi Arabia and then also Turkey and Iran so yeah it's it's a lot also Israel and Iran that's what this scenario is going to be based off of but yeah we're going to be having Iran declaring war on Israel over something probably a fabricated story made by both sides because that's all that happens over here true intentions are never to be told in the middle east however this is what it's looking like right now and it's not good because immediately israel takes his time to declare war on palestine which kind of sets off everybody all of the muslim and arab countries in the world are very much against this but iran is seen as the aggressor which means they have to be held accountable israel then declares war on lebanon and from here the middle eastern front is united with syria being dragged in turkey declares war on syria and this kind of also makes them declare war on iran saudi arabia happily joins in and then they recruit all of their allies into the war jordan is forced to pick a side although that kind of makes sense since there's much between israel and saudi arabia two countries you probably don't want to mess with finally yemen joins in on iran side simply because uh, Iran's been supplying rebel groups in the Yemen Saudi Arabia has been supplying the other side so it's you know the Yemeni civil war is a very confusing subject I could split this country into many different fronts however this one just makes the most sense and yeah so this is kind of a scaled up thing I don't think every one of these countries would get involved if anything the greatest extent could look something like this or this or this I mean, not every single one of these countries would get involved, and I, I'm acknowledging that now. But yeah, this is the third scenario, so now it's time to take a look at the combination scenario, and that's where we're going to be finally having some wars, because I know you guys clicked on this video, you want wars, you want stuff like that. We're getting to that it's just at the end. So let's go ahead and take a look at the combination scenario. All right, so here's scenario one, which was the NATO versus Russia scenario. On top of this, we're going to be adding in the China-Taiwan scenario. Now, there will be some changes here because since Russia is involved, some countries may not get involved or other countries will get involved. But overall, we'll pretty much be following the same basics. So there we have the China versus Taiwan scenario. And finally, we'll be ending off with the Middle East. All right, so there we go. We have all three scenarios on the same map here. Now it's time to add in all the countries that would get involved if this were to play out exactly like this. First of all, starting off in the Caucasus, Armenia would definitely join in on the red side. They're a great ally to Russia, and of course, they hate Turkey and Azerbaijan, who will be joining this war on the side of Turkey, their greatest ally. Moving on from here, we're going to go ahead and, and head over to South Asia, where I have to talk about India for a little bit. India, in this scenario, would most certainly be neutral, as Russia is fighting against NATO, and China is in the war. The only chance that India would have in joining this war is if Pakistan joined the war and Russia was the aggressor then India would find their way to join. Other than that, they would most likely stay neutral just because it's 
better to stay neutral than it is to get involved in fighting. But if these countries are going all out and throwing hands, then all of Central Asia would join in under the influence of Russia. They wouldn't contribute much. However, Russia would want them in the war just to seem more intimidating. Venezuela and Cuba could be forced into the war as well by Russia. And this would pretty much ignite all of the Americas. So Colombia would join in on the side of the US. Colombia and the United States are great allies. And of course, Venezuela is an enemy of Colombia. We'd also see Brazil join in on the side of the United States. This one's kind of borderline. Um, they definitely wouldn't join in on the side of Russia. However, they would probably either be neutral, which is more likely, or on the America side. They also despise Venezuela as a country, so this would give them reason to join. But yeah, the United States would most likely just try to unite all of its major non-NATO allies. This includes Chile, Costa Rica, and Panama are considered so, but they're not going to be joining us simply because they don't have much to offer since they have little to no military. We could see Morocco join in because Morocco and Israel have ties with each other um the only reason morocco wouldn't join is because of israel that problem is out of the way so i guess morocco would just have to choose between being a good ally or staying neutral which is probably the smarter option but if morocco were to join then algeria would most certainly join in and if algeria were to join the united states would call on tunisia to join and if tunisia were to join then libya would join in on the side of russia very confusing stuff here but this is most likely what would happen and to be clear i am taking this to a more unrealistic extent now so I don't see Morocco and these North African countries joining in. Maybe Brazil, maybe not Brazil. Cuba and Venezuela, maybe. I wouldn't say most likely, but it's it's more likely than it is less likely. Coming over to Egypt here, now they are a United States ally, and they also are holding ties with Russia. Now, Egypt and Israel hold relations with each other, which is a good thing for Israel. That basically means Egypt won't join this war on the side of Russia. And, you know, Egypt could technically join in on the blue side. Now, if they were to join in on a side, it would definitely be the blue side. There's no way they would join in on the red side. But for now, I'm just going to say that Egypt is neutral. And of course, if you guys have any objections to anything I'm saying here, make sure to leave it in the comments. I like to read your guys' comments and get your guys' opinions. Well, most of the opinions. Sometimes your opinions are trash, and I'm not afraid to say that. But yeah, World War III, greatest extent, minus Northern Africa. I think this is what we could be dealing with. Now, don't fear. World War III probably won't break out anytime soon, unless the United States, China, or Russia does anything stupid, which they do stupid stuff every day, so maybe you should be prepared. As always, make sure to do your own research. Don't base everything off of my opinion. Someone else's opinion make sure to see both sides before you make any opinions i'm probably going to start saying that now because the videos are kind of controversial in that matter i guess it also kind of depends how you look at things but yeah anyway world war three if it were to break out what countries would get involved to the greatest extent these countries would get involved i don't see any other countries getting involved um maybe something could break out in east africa south asia maybe india and pakistan would join in which would ignite a whole different front of course what i talked about earlier serbia bosnia and herzegovina kosovo those guys could get involved as well as Moldova. If Russia were to push that far, then they would most likely get into the war. Nicaragua could also get involved because they are an ally of China and Russia. But if they were to get involved, they would just get stomped by the United States, just like Cuba and Venezuela will. So they, you know, they wouldn't really have a reason to join unless they were forced to by the Russian or Chinese government. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's scenario. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like I said, we're aiming for 70k, then 80, then 90, and then eventually 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I've been punching the numbers and I've been looking at if it is possible and... It is possible, and that is just relying on if we can hit a growth spurt. So I'm going to be sharing an uh, interesting fact about the channel. So I'm going to be simulating its growth down here on, with a lime. So this was before mapping, then I started doing mapping. That's cool. And then it eventually uh, kind of slowed down and went down. It steadied out for a little bit. Growth spurt. Then it settled back down. Another big growth spurt. This one really set us off recently. And then the most recent one, which is this one, set us up to like here. Right now, we're in the lowest part, which is the dip. Now, don't like... Don't think that I'm trying to pity you guys into subscribing or doing that stuff. I'm just saying this is just factual information. This is a normal thing. This has nothing to do with the channel or content or anything, I think. I hope. But eventually we should spike up. And then if we hit this growth spurt, which will be our biggest by far, as you can see by the trend, we can hit 100,000 subscribers in less than a year. And that's usually because in these growth spurts, I get thousands of subscribers, which is amazing. I'm extremely thankful for that. But yes, at the current rate, we can hit that number we're just relying and waiting on this if that doesn't happen no big deal we'll just wait till next year and we'll hit 100k doesn't matter when we hit it i'll be happy either way anyway thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure to show some support and i'll see you guys in the next video